last week we talk last week last last week uh, we talk about chapter three. You know how we reform. I mean, after we reform ourselves, how we change for better. How do we uh, you know do good deeds? Because after we reform, we stop our bucket from leaking. So we accumulate goodness. It's like after the bucket is fixed, we accumulate the merits on top. So um, if Del Fan has a very interesting way of doing it, like any good speaker or any good uh, you know bestseller, they always start with stories. They give you the case they have in his time in Ming Dynasty. He talks about how you know um, a gentleman. His uh, surname is Yen, and there is a case where the people have a lot of um, uh, how to say, flood. The dam has broken, and then the flood is killing a lot of people because back then the irrigation is not as good. Uh, this Mister Yang, uh, instead of normal people who always, you know, they loot, right? Because when people flow down their property, flow down, everyone, everyone just loot the property around them because finders keepers so that kind of mindset but he himself is quite unique he don't choose to loot even though he's not going to get caught he choose to save lives so there's a lot of corpses flowing down the rivers and he pick as many as he can to you know resuscitate them so this is one case of how they often demonstrate the good deeds uh, done by him I mean uh, how, how people cultivate good deeds uh, most of them is about real, being true. So instead of being, um, you know, tr- instead of trying to do it for the sh- sake of publicity, as as we know nowadays, you know, the celebrities, they do it for the sake of, you know, in PR stunt and all that. Um, this this thing is like they done even people are not looking at, or even people are criticizing that. So they going against the flow, when the flow is going towards not the the the, the bad kind. So, so this is this is one case, Mr. Yang, um, and what's the what's the effect? So he has committed good cause. So cause and effect, right? We keep saying good cause, good cause. What's the effect? So effect is, uh, it might not be shown in his life, but his own children, which is the Yang's son and Yang's uh, grandson. So Yang. When he was uh, mid middle age, he with his son saved a lot of life during the flood, even though everyone's looting. But the result, just like fruit, right? It bears fruit in his grandson. His grandson becomes as high as the as high as a normal human could get in Imperial China. So he becomes the advisor to the imp- emperor. Basically, the, um, in in Australia term would be governor general in a sense. So he, he, he has reached a very high position. Obviously, his whole family lifted. So this is one case of people who are doing the kindness out of their heart. They will be repaid. Uh, in fact, Master Ching Kong talk about these are just hua bao in the scene. These are the, um, how to say, leftovers. So these are leftover good karma already so high in terms of human realm. You can imagine the gentleman himself who commit the deeds. I don't think he uh, this world can sustain his uh, good karma, so he has to go up to the heaven. So there are many cases, like uh, for example, there is a very poor government official. So we keep seeing a lot of corruption nowadays, right? Not nowadays. In back then, until today, we see corruptions in Venezuela, in African country, even in US. They legalize the corruption. They call lobbying. Uh, study politics. I've seen that. This is basically just corruption. But um, what I, what they want is all money, and and a lot of people change their principle because of money, right? They uh, They don't f- hold on to their principle. Very few. They are very precious people who did that, and we respect them a lot. So this is one case. Um, there's a gentleman named Ying. Ah, uh, his name is Ying. Ying Ren Yang Zicheng. Okay, so. Ying is a place, and he's also young. And what happened is he was one of the, how to say, assistant to the district county or something. So his job is to, you know, uh, paperwork on the legal matters in that county, very small. But he, his, you can imagine the salary is not really much, barely enough to feed his children. However, he saw 
um, his boss was being excessive in his punishment, you know, use of excessive force. Uh, as you can see nowadays, like the police overuse the, the guns and all that. And it, it causes, um, how to say, a commotion in the court. And he just go in front and kneel in front of the, his boss, uh, which is the judge, this uh, district judge. And he, a county judge, and then he just um, plead, you know, hold back your force, uh, sir, because these people who are guilty, these criminals, maybe uh, petty theft or, you know, they steal stuff, they break into house or something like that. They didn't mention it here. But he said that the reason why the people, you know, the common folks are committing crime is because the person on the higher position are not setting a good example. So in some sense, it's a, it's a slap in the face. But what it means that there's no example for them. Families breaking up, maybe. Uh, the position is not... Wait, just a second. Hi, Alison. Please join. We'll go there. We'll go there. Okay, so she just knew in front of him and he plead, uh, uh, he plead you know, mercy from him and say that we need to reflect ourselves if people are not... Um, uh, doing good stuff. So all the common kids. So put it in modern example, like example like you know the, the unfortunate school shootings or or that um, in Australia there's a lot of uh, break in with you know hostage and all that. The whole point is because of the the people who they look up to, their parents supposed to look up to, their teachers and everything. They they don't have any more example for them to glue them together to keep their to keep them, you know, back in the right track. So these are the things that we need to reflect um, as a community, as a society. So this is what he's trying to present. The whole society is already uh, breaking down. So what's the, like, You these people are just simply the effect, symptoms, like cold, right? You just sneeze and all that. So uh, yes, they need to be, you know, caught and punished, but you only catch the, the uh, shoots, but you didn't go to the root of the matter. So why did that happen in the first place? So that's what he's trying to present in a simple action of kneeling and plead for mercy. So this is how sage people um, educate the world day by example. So not just that, okay? He's poor, but when he met those prisoner, uh, it's common to say he's bad guy. You know, we don't need to worry about him. But he saw this prisoner. I mean. Back then, they don't have enough to eat. So the prisoner was so hungry. They are uh, starved, right? Uh, and maybe they were they were forced to go... Uh, Alison, let's give her the link. She can just join. Hi, Alison. Please click this link. Sorry. This one is more like a special session. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, I'm a phone. Thank you so much for coming. Otherwise, I don't know who to talk to. So, Gong Wu Liang. So, so this one is because he's starving. That 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 prisoner is starving, and he's like, I only have this much, like half half a bag to uh, half a bag of rice. So, um, if I give it to the to the to the uh, the the criminal, I mean the prisoner. I won't have anything else for my wife. So he talked to his wife and his wife agrees to cook porridge because, you know, porridge, you can cook more than rice and he will scoop up a few bowl. I mean, half of it, give it to the prisoner, half of it for themselves. So this is kindness. And it's not, there's no Instagram, there's no Facebook saying it or news report saying he's good or something. It's, it's only, you know, done it out of his heart. It's only hurt through word of mouth to Leo Fan. So yeah, so these are the very simple kindness, but you know, what happens when he did that? It also, all these cases usually focus on one life. That means that you might not see that person getting a good karma in next life because you know, human realm, we can't see beyond past, present, future, normal human. Um, so they talk about something you can see. So his children, right? So the good karma is obvious in his children. So he has two children 
and both of his children has gone beyond his rank. So he has gone through the imperial examination, he got selected, and then he got to the higher position. So his whole family is better. The condition is better. So that's how it works. Uh, and then, not just his children, his grandchildren get even higher. So, so like father is just a, the county uh, uh, secretary, and then his children become something like a state, and then his own grandchildren becomes a a, a, a federal level, you know, um, uh, very high rank, ranking officials. So their life getting better and better and better. It's a very example one. So these are all usually civilian side. There are also a case for military, military people, like people who who serve as the you know um, uh, armies and 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 soldiers and all that. So in Fujian, back in Ming Dynasty, there's a person called Deng. Uh, he has a situation. He was assigned by the emperor to overtake. How to say to pacify Fujian because there's a lot of uh, Bandits back then. Uh, there's a lot of people, uh, you know, becoming bandits, maybe because of poverty and stuff. And there's a lot of common folks join the bandit rank. So he was assigned by his boss superior to capture them. So kill it, kill or capture something like that. Um, so he was uh, attached to another person in command of the area. So. Before he operates, he commence, commence the operation to reduce collateral damage, to reduce you know unnecessary killing to the wrong people. He took an, uh, he already has a list. So those people who join the ranks of bandits, so these people will be punished by death. So the rest were common folks because they mix together, right? They don't have a clear rank and say kill me and something. So what they do is they they identify who is the innocent people. And they emit, they secretly send uh, something like one of their soldiers secretly, give them a piece of white cloth, tell them to tie, uh, put put it on a pole, a flag pole, and put it in front of the house on that night of operation. So on that night, he commenced the operation of clearing the bandit camp. And this bandit camp are mixed with the common folks' home. So those household who are innocent or cleared, they have, they were told exactly when to put the flag. So they all put the flag on that night. So when the soldier came, they see, okay, white flag, go. Because the bandit doesn't know, they won't hide in there. So the white flag, okay, good people. So they play out everyone, about 10,000, I think. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a, there's a list there. 10,000, I think. And now they didn't say how much they captured, but how much people survived from this operation. It's uh, up to tens of thousands of people will survive. So he has saved a lot of killing. So obviously, his um, children immediately go up and become Zhuang Yuan. In Chinese terms, this would be akin to uh, something as high as high distinction. And this high distinction is not just... Uh, because back then, China, when you get exam pass, it's so rare. Everyone who pass will immediately become... We have a job. You don't have to go to job interview. Right, it, it, like nowadays we have a lot of people who get the cert, so their cert is more worthy than us. Okay, in in the sense they secure a job immediately, so they got the high level and they become assistant to the prime minister, so deputy prime minister in a sense. That is really high. Um, there's so many. Uh, I can keep going, but yeah, those those stories can be re reflected to the modern time because. Good deeds does not have um, error, like they don't have a time limit. This is hard, right? Woman, this kind of thing do, do not restrict it by era or whether you're poor or rich, doesn't matter. You can do it, you just do it. Uh, you don't think about it. So, so these are all our fans' uh, examples, beautiful, beautiful examples, and all of them centers around sincerity they, they do it out of their uh, real heart and they all use their position some people as low as a you know county as secretary some is like a normal a scholar some are just normal folk like us and they help whenever they can 
So everyone can commit good deeds as long as if they do it out of their heart, uh, not for show. So and after talking about story, Liao Fan then talk about the principles, the underlying principles. So he talks about how, how do you categorize the kindness? Those, those things are for us to understand what is true, what is, how do we co- uh, cultivate goodness to its fullest potential without you know, leaking it with our you know, selfishness or our qi, our um, bad habits. So Liao Fan has listed eight pairs, so basically eight um, opposites. So first is real and fake, real kindness, fake kindness. Um, the second one is Duan and Chu. It's like um, proper and in- inappropriate, appropriate and inappropriate. Uh, the third is obvious and not obvious, Yin Yang. So obvious is Yang, not obvious is uh, hidden. We call it hidden kindness is Yin, Shi and Fei, uh, right and wrong, basically. What appears to be right is actually wrong. What appears to be wrong. In the first place, it, it is it is right in the long run. That's that's deep. And one is crook, like not 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 good enough, or it diverted from the point. One is straight uh, to the point that actually served the purpose. So crook and straight, got it. Direct translation. And then one is half half kindness and full kindness. So it's well rounded or half halfway there, not enough. Uh, another, the last two, the second last is big or small. Um, the last one is easy and hard. So, so you have eight. So real, fake, um, inappropriate, appropriate, uh, hidden and obvious kindness. Um, what is right and wrong. And then um, what is, uh, how does it, diverted or straight to the point. And uh, one is half and full, big, small, easy, and hard. So this is quite hard to t- put it in English because all of them seem similar. So to do that, Leofan is very kind. He um, say that we need to go in depth. So these are like really like a, like a recipe, right? You need to know the gram and all that. So, so once we know that, the first thing you already get to the point. Um, and before you say that, even it's important to know this, because if we just do blind uh, kindness out of blind, like um, fervor, like oh, I want to be a good guy, so it will might end up becoming a uh, committing a a, a a bad deeds. So Liao Fan has said that um, we need to know, and the first thing he goes straight to the point where like what Master Qing Kong say, Zhen Chen Qing Jing. So the first thing is Zhen. On Jia. And the best one is our dear Venerable Yun Gu, which is the one who made San Si Nian for us, right? Uh, so, the dear Venerable Yun Gu, uh, sorry, not Yun Gu, Zhong Feng, Zhong Feng Chan Shi in Yuan Dynasty, he asked all the scholars, I mean, people, the, all, the, all the Confucius scholars ask him, what is good and bad? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'll continue. Um, so real and fake. So the real kindness is when you know people are not doing it for the sake of publicity and show, as I have mentioned. And venerable the Zen master Yun uh, Zhongfeng has mentioned that um, he has been asked by all the dear scholars, Confucius scholars, and asked him. Uh, Confucius scholar represents the worldly view, okay, the the Ren, and they ask him. Uh, Buddha say that there are, you know, karmic consequences for everything we do, cause and effect. Uh, just like the shadow follows your body. It will always be there. But they don't seem to have a prosperous household. So they could could do good stuff. Why why don't they get you know respected or good ending? And you know some people did bad deeds. You know like as you can see in modern world, you can you already put it yourself in that situation and that question. Some people do a lot of bad deeds, cartel and all that. You know, and they are rich. 
and they are very how to say very um they seem very uh how to say flashy their life is very good you know as you can see from the media so what buddha say has no point uh like what buddha say does not have logics does not have following and then master jongfen re- reply rebut we say because we're ordinary beings our heart is not clean that means our lens is not clean we s- we are not seeing things clearly our eyes are not opened truly our eyes our wisdom that means we can't see things clearly just like a mirror blocked by the by the dust they cannot reflect ex- exactly as what happened outside so it's not accurate so they think the good as bad they think the bad as good so they see things on the surface they don't see beyond the surface they don't see through the face all right so it's unfortunate and a very common for the ordinary people uh beings to reverse the truth so they they diverted the truth from the truth and ends up blaming the gods blaming the heavens blaming the you know the teachers so they blame outside they didn't they didn't see the reality they thought oh they are talking about superstitious stuff little did they know they actually talk in depth so people ask then how did that happen why is the result different shouldn't the good get the good bad get the bad so <laughs> it's very as you can see already from the question uh zhongfeng that's a wisdom you know? this like next time when people ask you hard question don't reply straight away so what zhongfeng master zhongfeng did he asked them back just like aristotle and socrates uh, and and buddha he oh, he don't answer straight away he asked them back what do you think about it uh, that's that's very good um so what did he ask these scholars there's a person uh huh if someone in the, did this action hit people scold people and oh no 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 my uh, venerable jong hun say what do you think about good and bad okay kind and unkind so this common people and uh, uh, replies if a person hit people scold people it's bad if a person be respectful be uh, uh, um, sincere i'm um, not sincere be respectful and appear courteous is kind and then venerable jong fung say not necessary oh and then that person continue another case if a person uh you know they uh, hoarded the wealth to themselves the take without uh, permission is bad a person who uh being very uh clean uh, in their du- in their tenure as one of the officers or a company uh, uh staff if they're being clean and they follow the law the rules is good and then venerable zhong fong say something very surprising not necessarily and then these people keep saying all the common occurrence in the world and venerable zhong fong say not necessary he didn't say no he say it, it can be right but it's not always right that's more complicated than that and everyone's like why venerable oh venerable why why is that so and then venerable zhong fong <laughs> replies the the demarcation the 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 standard of being good and bad is actually based on the effect if you actually benefit the people then you can call it kind if what you do is only benefiting yourself even though it appears it good is bad so his standard is really high selflessness basically if you actually benefit people do it for the sake of the people then even when you hit people scold people it's kind if you only benefit yourself and even you put put up a face of respectful or courteous being very so very very polite it's not it's not full kindness so it's only for show basically what you say therefore a person who commit good deeds it's based on what do what is their purpose what's their intention if they truly want to benefit the public then it's good uh, if public benefit the public means it's true you you are benefiting everyone not just yourself if you only do it for yourself and only yourself then it's called selfish if it's selfish then it's not true because uh we can put it in buddhist term who are you 
right? Who are who am I? Buddha already throw this question first away. Is that an I in this body? No. Your body will a ten year old Dylan is not the same as twenty year old Dylan. And twenty year old Dylan will always change when he reaches thirty. Not every second I'm changing. Which one is me? Second, is my mind my my mind keep changing. How is that me? If it's I, it will be not changing. I can control. If I can control, I can make myself rich. I can make myself smart, but I'm not. Or I can make myself 18 years old forever. Master Ching Kong say. But you cannot be 18 years old forever. You have to go on and move on with you know, lao bing si, sickness, illness, uh, age, and then death. So, so this is the reality. So there's no I. So that's why the whole point is if you benefit yourself, these are fake self. What's the point? You yourself is in everyone. You know? Everyone is you. You is everyone. So that's why you benefit everyone equals to benefit yourself. Benefit yourself is not. It's fake. So he even go, con- he go further. A person who follows their heart and do it because it's right. They don't even think. They don't even do a, a, a plot or anything. It's real. People who follow other people to do kindness like oh he do kindness so I do it if he don't do it I don't do it so it's fake so this is what he meant by follow the heart I don't care what people say as long as I see that person is in need I do it because it's right I don't do it because people approve or disapprove I do it because I, it's my duty I need to do it so this is true people who just follow the others they just like oh this person is doing good so let's just join in and then when that person stop doing it you just you don't do anything. No. You're not controlling yourself on that. And, oh my God, he's going really deep. Wu Wei Er Wei Zhe Zhen. So he's going into the Taoism one, which is very deep. It's like, do without doing. It's real. Your way Er your, your Wei Zhe Jia. If you do for the sake of doing, it's fake. If you, yeah. Sometimes doing nothing is also, real, is, is also good. Say your children is jumping around and asking for, you know, throwing tantrum or anything. You don't do anything. You sit there. You let them chill down and calm down. This is, this is real. This is how you educate them. Tell them to know when to solian the PC, when to um, reflect on themselves. Because you're not replying to them. Their tantrum was not answered. And they, they were educated on that day. Your way away, to just, you just do it for the sake of doing it without knowing what you're doing. So there's no, there's no thought in it. There's no purpose in it. So those are very good metrics. Just by number one, Zhen and Jia. So he goes that deep, and I can't, I can't cover the the, the extent of it. But this is, um, I'm, I also want to go back to one cases that Yun Gu said not necessary is Tan Cai Wang Qu. So first part of Tan Cai, a lot of people think. People who hoarded the wealth get the money is bad. But there was a case for us as a pure land practitioner, very close to us, uh, Shan Dao Da Si, I think. When he was a lay person, he was an official and he worked for com- uh, treasurers, actually. He actually committed, um, not corruption, I uh, embellishment of funds. He took the money out. Every time he he calculated the cashiers and stuff, and he took the money out himself. Oh my God! How can he do that? So what did he do? He do it to uh, spare. He spent none of that funds to himself. He used all of them on helping the people. Maybe he saw the government is not helping much, so he took out the money and, like a Robin Hood, basically, he he spent everything on the people. He don't he don't get rich or anything. So when he was caught, he was being you know. Sentenced to death, basically, back then. When you corrupt, you get... Even now, China also have that. You get um, a capital punishment. So, the venerable, uh, the emperor has been hearing a lot of cases of corruption. But this is kind of corruption is weird. A lot of people, corruption, they used to benefit their children, their own family themselves, right? They, 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 they spend big, they eat a lot of fine dinings. But this guy, he's living poorly, still. After stealing so much money, and what did he do? He used it to spend on the people. So the emperor is like, I've never seen this in my whole tenure as the CEO, basically, of China. So he just talked to his uh, judge and say, 
when you go into execute him, which is, you know, beheading, look at his face. If he has no sense of fear, do not execute him. So he just, he just like, you know, as you can see in Chinese drama, they tie up and they take out the board and they go in the chop. And before they chop his head off, they just see his face and he's like smiling. So, as you can see, this is not a normal person. So, as in a, in a good way, he's a saint. So, so they were like, okay, stop, 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 stop. Because the emperor also studied Buddhism, they know. Uh, so they're like, okay, guys, please invite him in front of the emperor. So the emperor looked at him and like, why do you steal the money? It's like, uh, and, 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 and give it to the people, not yourself. It's like, I'm doing what is right. And then he's, he's like, um, why are you not fear of death? Who am I? I'm not real, so... I don't mind if, you know, if I can give out my life for the people, then it doesn't matter. Oh my God. The emperor was like, no, 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 no. Send him to the temple. Let him become a monk, which is our dear Santa Dasu. So guess who is Santa Dasu? Amitabha Buddha's reincarnate in this world. So he's teaching us, don't look at the surface. So this is why Master Yun Kuse is not necessary. There's a case behind this. So yeah, this is the um, first part of the eight pairs, eight opposites. I think I'll stop here so that um, we all can uh, continue to think about it. Uh, so far, do you have any questions or anything you want us to focus on in Delphan? Topics or issues? Oh, I'm a bit awful. Yeah, it's all based on his... Um, well, this thing that does not... like This thing is very deep, actually. It, I When I first read this, I thought it's just, you know, being a good person. Yeah, but what is good person? And before even being a good person, are you sure you are 100% pure and good? Not really, right? We still need to fix, we still need to um, be real about things. Uh, we are always in the middle, right? A bit of good, a bit of bad. It's human. So I, I think they will find it's good in this way. They, t they tell us like what it is instead of what we thought it is and um, not telling us like a lot of self-help book nowadays they just say oh just do it be good be strong but they didn't give you that that hard look in yourself and get ourselves you know be real be true you don't have a good person don't, don't, don't sit there and say I'm good I'm good they just do it they don't say I'm good they just do it and they don't they don't have the attachment and say I'm a good person so that's the mark of a good person so <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, if if you like it uh, or your friends or anything, um, feel free to share this session uh, to them. They can come every. What time is it in US? Right now it's twelve in Australia. Oh, that's good. Then more time to um, you know, Chanjia. I saw you in Gongshu with the uh, New South Wales. I'm very happy we go online because it opens up to the world, not just Sydney. Uh, I think this is much needed. I, I think it's a blessing. COVID. In a sense, it connects everyone together, brings everyone into the, into here. So, yeah, even for Liao Fan, it opens up as well. Like, example, you're from US. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll do my best, but um, Master Ching Kong is the one who go back to you if you guys want to use a standard. I mean, he's very, he's very smart. He's very good. The way, the way he talked to the audience, you know, like, Back in China, back then in, in early times, they don't really understand this Chuan Tong Wenhua because of the unfortunate incidents, Cultural Revolution. And he go back there and talk about something very logical, very everyday. He don't touch the Gui Sen and all that. He just focus on human uh, experience. And I just impress how he, how, how, how wide is his range, you know? Like Whitney, Whitney Houston can sing eight octave. He's like, he can reach a lot of people as well. So yeah, yeah, I mean, go for. So I was, uh, yeah, all the best to you and your family.